Hey everybody, it's Wendy, and what you're looking at here is a mess. So, <laughs> I wanted to help some of you new beaters out by telling you, well, let me just tell you the whole reason. I've had several people contact me and be like, I'm freaking out, I'm a new beater, I think I messed up, I did I blah blah blah, I did this, I did that, help me, you know, and then, <laughs> so... I want to show you guys my this needs to be taken apart or I hated the way this turned out or this totally messed up pile. This is it. Okay, now these bags here are things I've already taken apart. I took this pile with me to Myrtle Beach. So for two and a half hours in the car, no, no, it wasn't Myrtle Beach. It was Charleston, South Carolina. It was Beaufort, South Carolina. So it was like four hours, three and a half to four hours in the car, I took things apart. That's what's in these bags. And even at that, I don't have everything completely taken apart. This is a little pile of chain right here that I can't get apart. I'm going to have to sit and play with it. I've been playing with it. It was way bigger than that. There's my tools from, you know, what I've been using to take everything apart. But this right here is the pile that still needs attention. So look at this. This is all like resin things that I did that I hated. Here's a pendant that needs um, made into something. So I have tons of stuff like that. Um, yeah, this is all the, this whole thing right here is stuff that I just did not like the way it turned out and I just have to take it apart and oh my gosh, there's so much of it. So, new beaters, let me just say to you <laughs> that do not get discouraged. Just just make stuff. If you mess up, take it apart. Stick it in a pile like this if you don't want to take it apart right then. Um, but I would advise you not to let your pile get quite as big as my pile. My pile here is huge. And, um, yeah, so anyway. But now, after I get all this stuff taken apart or put away or whatever, I'm going to have to go through all this and sort it all out and put it away. <laughs> so, it seems overwhelming. But I just wanted you guys to know, this is my... I've been beating now for about five years. And this is my pile of stuff from the very beginning that I've been like hoarding <laughs> that needs to be taken apart, thrown away, just I hate it, didn't like it, messed it up, whatever, you know. So, you know, don't be um, freaked out if you make something and you hate it, then you can always take it apart. You can always just pull it apart, take your pliers, cut it apart, and you've still got the beads. It's not like you're out anything like this. It's just stretch cord. I'm going to cut it apart and use the beads for something else so yeah this was i was doing these <laughs> they were supposed to be vases of flowers yeah don't laugh i mean seriously don't judge me like i said this is from the very beginning i mean i did these back when i very first started but there's all kinds of stuff in here here's beautiful jesse james beads that i could be using if they weren't stuck on this little drop right here so yeah i'm gonna have to get busy with it here's a bracelet that i made check it out. I love it, but I just did this lobster clasp closure, and I don't like the way that the closure worked out, so I can't decide if I'm just going to put a new clasp on it. I probably will, or if I'm going to pull the whole thing apart. I'm probably just going to put a new clasp on it, because it actually turned out pretty good, but anyway, you guys, just, just have fun with it. Just bead. Enjoy it. Um, don't freak out. You can always pull stuff apart later. Alrighty, just wanted to help you out there, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. I'm at the beading table, and I have had so many people ask me for a tutorial on these fairies, okay? So, I thought I had one, honestly. I thought I had done a tutorial on these fairies, but apparently I hadn't. So, that is what we're going to do today. And I already see that I laid out all the parts to her but one thing. So, let me go grab that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got what I needed. Alrighty, so this little fairy, um, she is daggone cute. And I actually have another one up here in different colors. Here she is. So these can be anything, guys. They can be backpack pulls for little girls. Uh, they've got this big lobster up here and a split ring here. So they're fairly secure. 
Um, they could be a backpack pull. They could be, you could hang them from the rear view mirror of your car if you wanted to. Um, purse charm, you know, whatever you want to do with them. They're really, really cute. They turn out really adorable. And so that's what we're going to make today. Little fairy. Um, so let me show you what you're going to need. Let me set these two up here out of the way. Let's, uh, I don't know if they'll set up. <laughs> they're cute. There we go. So there they are. We'll set them here. They can watch us. Okay. So what you're going to need, these hand-painted lucite flowers are on my website. They are in a million and one different colors. Um, they are really pretty. They turned out like stained glass and I'm really, really happy with them. Um, so you're going to need, I mean, you can use anything. You can use any flowers that you've got, but that's what I'm using for these. And that's what I've been using for these. Um, then this flower that we use for her skirt is also up on my website. I have, they come in a package of all different colors and I think it's a four random pick four colors for a dollar or something like that they're very inexpensive that's what we're going to use for her skirt now this is a bead cap that i have i do not have these on the website but it's just a big bead cap and i like to layer it under here i just think it looks cute one way or the other there um then we've got these flowers these are her top here they are uh, on my website as well i'm actually painting more of these and we'll have more colors up um here in the next couple of days but right now there's a few up there so there's those uh, this flower I do have on the website as well I think they come in a package of 10 for like a dollar um, or dollar fifty something like that this is the bottom down here her little the bottom of her skirt right there um, we've got a bigger bead cap here another bigger bead cap these I don't have on the website these I do in a couple different colors like I think antique bronze um, gold and silver. I've got a couple bicones here, four millimeter. We have a big 10 millimeter bead for her head. We have a rondelle rhinestone thingy spacer here. Another bead cap, a six millimeter, no, this is an eight millimeter, eight millimeter bicone. These bead caps are on my website. I don't have too many left of the um, silver. I think I have more of the gold, but this is what I'm using for her hair on her head. Um, she's going to hold on to a little butterfly that I just pulled out of my bead soup. <laughs> and here's another bead cap for her top around her neck. We've got some jump rings. We have a split ring for the top. Now, if you don't like split rings, I hate split rings, but I'm going to try to use this one today just because they're more secure. But if you don't um, like split rings and you can't use them, then you could double jump ring it. Here's a big lobster claw clasp for... This is, you know, for the clasp for whatever you're going to hook her to. And then you're going to need a couple different pieces of wire. I have got 20 gauge wire for her body. And then I have a 22 gauge wire for her arms. Okay. And then I did not pull out, but I see that I'm going to need a couple of eye pins for her legs. I'm sorry. I thought I had everything out here that I needed. It never fails. I don't ever have everything else that I needed. Okay, and then you're going to need your um, pliers. You're going to need your uh, chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, and cutters. And I think that that's everything. So let me try to adjust this. Oops. Okay, hold on. Okay, so hopefully we can work within this camera angle. I've been really fighting with this stupid camera. I don't know. I think I want to ask for like a real camera for Christmas. I video everything on my phone because I don't have a regular another camera. Um, but either the lighting's messed up, which I think I have that fixed. It's looking pretty good from here. Um, or, you know, I can't get it in the frame. I don't know. There's always something, but anyway. All right. So we're going to put all this aside for a moment. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on her little body. Okay. So if you can see here, this wire goes all the way down to the bottom of this flower and then it is a um, wrapped loop that we put our little legs on. So we're going to make that wrapped loop right now. And what we do is we come up, I don't know, give yourself a couple inches or an inch and a half. I, I am not real, um, how can I say this? I don't conserve my wire very well because I'm always afraid of running out. <laughs> you know, so I cut too long and I'm terrible about that. But anyway, you're going to bring your loop up and over, flip your pliers, 
and bring your loop all the way around and this is what you'll have okay then you're gonna hold your loop right here and you're gonna take your other pliers and try to do this neatly I mean you know I'm not I am no wire wrapping person I'm not good at it I have not had any success working with wire in any time that I've tried to do it so I don't claim to be even good at it but you know do try to make that if you can make it kind of neat so I wrapped it around two about full times there and I'm just gonna cut right here with my flush cutter okay and then you can straighten up this loop if you want this isn't really going to show a whole lot it's going to be up underneath um, but you know I like to straighten it up anyway and then I'm going to take the plier and I'm going to press down on this little bit that's sticking out just so it's not sharp okay if I can get a hold of it I will there we go let me get on camera I'm sorry so let me press down on that little guy right there Okay, so you just don't want anything sharp, and that seems pretty good. Okay, so here's what we've got. A little loop. Now, I am going to put on this Lucite flower. And see, this goes down and kind of covers that up. And especially when you get her legs on here, I mean, it's gonna, it really won't show a whole lot. So don't be, you know, don't worry too much about it. So I'm gonna put that on. Now in the other one, I did it different, but I think on this one, I'm gonna layer this bead cap first. You can do this however you want, guys. It's total creative control. Um, but I think I'm going to do it that way and then put this one on. I kind of like the way that looks. It's cute. Okay. And then I'm going to do the Lucite flower. Yeah, that is cute. Okay. Now, I wanted to show you guys. I got these big wings. And I haven't tried these wings on the fairy. But I think these would be so doggone cute on the fairy. Look at that. I really kind of want to try them on this one, but I don't want to get yelled at by somebody <laughs> telling me that I should have tried it ahead of time, which I know somebody will because, man, there have been some grumpy people on, on YouTube lately. Um, but yeah, I think those would be so cute on there, and you could actually do her arms in between. I'm going to try it, and I'm sorry if you don't like it, but, you know, you're just going to have to deal with it, but I'm going to try it. So then take your wire like this, okay? And what we're gonna do here, actually, let's do it with our round nose pliers. Take it, find about the middle of your, of your wire that you're gonna use for her arms. And you want this loop to be as small as you can make it. And just wrap it just like this, okay? One across the other. And this is what you'll have. You'll have a teeny little loop in the middle with her arms sticking out either side. And I'm going to just try this. And if it doesn't work, then don't yell at me, okay? But I'm going to try it. And you're going to put this in between the wing bead. And these wing beads are on the website, and they come in a package of four. Um, so I'm... My thought was to do dragonfly pendants with them, and I, I am going to do that. But I thought when I saw them today, I was like, these would be so cute on the little fairies, too. So, And I'm just going to bend her arms around the front here like this and just kind of leave them hanging. Um, just don't poke yourself. But they don't need to be, you don't need to fool with them right now. We'll finish them in a minute. Okay, so there that is. So we've got some wings. We've got some arms. And let me see what I'm going to do next. Actually, I want to put this bead cap on first. So let me do that. Sorry. Um, I just want to use this bead cap on here. So that's no big deal. Just take it off, put it back on. Put a wing back on. Put her arms back on. And put the other wing on. Okay. Here we go. So here's what we've got. Let me make sure that her arms are both facing. There we go. Okay, so we've got this. I think it's going to be cute. Um, I'm hoping that it works. <laughs> okay, and I don't get some big judgmental person yelling at me because I didn't figure it out beforehand. Sometimes things just don't work out that way. All right, now I'm going to use this bead cap and turn it upside down so that it looks like it's facing up. And then I'm going to put her head on here. Okay, and there's what we've got. 
It is really kind of cute with the fit, with the wings. I like it. Okay. Um, and I haven't used everything that I laid out. I didn't use my other Lucite flower here just because the wings kind of took the place of this on the, on, you know, I guess I could have put it underneath the wings right here, but I don't think I'm going to. All right. So then I'm going to put her hair on. Here's her hair. <laughs> And then I'm going to put this rondelle on. Yep. Then this bead cap upside down. And then the bicone. Okay, so here's what I've got. So I have a little fairy. Yeah, I, I kind of like her like this. Okay, now what we're going to do, this is very important. This has to be super tight when you... Um, when you do this right here, it has to be super tight. So get down as close to that bicone as you can and bend it at a 90 degree angle. Take your pliers, get in there as close as you can to the edge and wrap it up and over just like this. Turn your plier and go on around. So this is what you've got. Okay. Then grab it here with this plier and pull this down this has to be tight if it's not tight she's gonna flop everywhere and you don't want her flopping everywhere okay so then you're gonna take this and you're going to wrap and take your time and do this neatly you want this wrap to go down all the way as close to this bicone and push all these beads down so that it's not flopping around okay that's real important you don't want her flopping if she's flopping she's just her wings are gonna spin and I mean which I guess if you're if you're okay with that that's fine but I don't want mine flopping I want her to be pretty sol solid and secure okay and not moving too much now she you know the wings are gonna spin a little bit but you just don't want her real flopping around okay so that is wrapped down pretty daggone tight to my bicone and be careful you don't want to break your bicone but you want it to go down pretty close. Okay, so now, see, she's not flopping around. So I'm going to cut this off as close as I can get it. And if it is um, sticking out, you're going to need to bend it in. And just kind of try to do it without breaking your bicone. It's real easy to break the bicone here. So just be very gentle. Okay, so there she is so far. Now, let's do our little legs real quick. So you've got your two head pin or eye pins here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take the bicone. Actually, I'm not gonna use eye pins for this. I'm gonna use head pins. Probably gonna end up starting this tutorial over. <laughs> okay, <laughs> because I know I'm gonna have people yelling at me. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna use head pins here for this instead. All right, just because that's what I used on those. I don't know why I thought I had used um, eye pins, but I didn't. So you're going to put your little um, little bicone on there. Decide how long you want her legs to be. You know, you want her to look normal, but you, you don't want them to be too tiny. <laughs> um, and we're just going to make a loop. So uh, I'm going to make them about this long. So I'm going to bend it. Cut off. And roll back my loop because you are going to be hanging them from that middle piece so they're going to dangle down just make sure your loops closed up real good just like that okay and then we'll do the other one same thing try to do it right about the same length okay Put it there and then roll this loop back all right so there we go we've got two little loops and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open these up and we're going to hang them right under here from the little flower this is actually easier to do before than 
it's easier if you do it before you put the flower on. Um, but I didn't think about that at the moment. So I was making the flower, putting the flowers on. Okay, just close it up. I mean, you can get it on. It's not like it's impossible or anything. It's just a little bit easier to do it before you put the flowers on. These are not my best pliers. They're laying over there on the bed. I need to go grab them. That's what I've been using to take everything apart with. And put her other leg on, just like this. And just reach down in there, and if you've got the precision pliers, it's a lot easier. Like I do over there on the bed. There we go. Okay. So there's her little legs. She is so cute. I like the wing, the wings on her. Okay, so now we're going to make her arms. So I just bend them down here. Kind of decide where, you know, how long you want them to be. I'm going to cut it right about there. And this one I'm going to cut a little bit, well, no, I'm going to leave it about the same. I was going to say because I'm going to put the dangle on there, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and then you just take your little your round nose pliers and just twist it up and around so she's got a little hand and so she's not sharp. That's the main reason, actually, for doing that. And we're going to do the same with the other one. And there she is. Okay. Make sure these are closed up good just so they won't snag on anything. And there she is. She is cute with the wings. I've got to say, I like her with the wings. And then I'm going to take a jump ring. And I'm going to go ahead and give her the little butterfly to hold in one hand. Just like this. Okay, there's that. She's got a little butterfly in her hand. And then I'm going to attach this top piece, if I can find my split ring pliers. These are a necessity, guys. If you use split rings at all, you need these pliers. <laughs> I hate split rings. We work with them. That's all we use at work. We don't use any jump rings at work. And these big ones right like this aren't too bad, but man, those tiny ones we use at work are horrible. They are terrible, and I hate them so much. Well, it is hard to get the lobster on here. There we go. Okay, and there she is. I think she's adorable with the wings. I really, really like the wings. Oh my gosh, yeah, I do. So, she turned out really cute. So, here she is. Here's her um, little sister fairy. And here's this other little sister fairy. <laughs> and, yeah, I think they turn out really cute. They're super easy to make. And what little girl would not absolutely love these? They're so cute. So, there you have it. And, like I said, I'm sorry if I did not um, do the tutorial <laughs> perfect. I switched it up a little with the fairy wings and forgot that I had uh, needed head pins instead of eye pins. But, hey, you know, like I said, I'm not perfect. So, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed these little fairies. I hope it inspires you to make some fairies. And like I said, a lot of these products are available on my website. If you're interested, I will link in the description box below. And yeah, adorable. So Chris and I bought a couple crepe myrtle trees earlier. We got a red one. And actually, we got two red ones. We got one red one that's supposed to grow not too tall and one red one that's going to grow really tall, hopefully. So the one that... Um, is supposed to grow really tall we got at Lowe's and it had these aphids all over it like I mean everywhere and it was freaking me out because they were in the car with us and I'm like they're gonna start flying and they're gonna get on us but they didn't thank God um but anyway so we had to like dust it down so they're sitting out there and I told Chris I said let's wait it was 96 degrees here today and I said let's wait till the sun gets a little lower and it's not like killer hot outside and we'll go and plant those suckers. So that's what I'm going to do. going to go outside, plant my um, crepe myrtle trees 
and um yeah so you guys have a great rest of the evening and i'll see you in the next video bye